What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video where I want to go over how to go about daily dosing your TRT testosterone dose, your TRT testosterone protocol. You know, if you haven't seen any videos of me talking about daily dosing your gear, um, I've got several videos showing how to go about doing that. Um, but yeah, you're gonna kind of see it again here for anybody that is interested in uh, figuring it out, um, especially when you're getting your testosterone from an ampule. So here you can see I have my pharmacy testosterone. This is 250 milligram per milliliter testosterone enanthate in a one milliliter ampule. What I'm going to do before anybody goes, <laughs> before anybody goes on asking, where do you get this? Um, if you're interested in that kind of information, please look down below this video and you will see a join button. If you're interested in knowing where to get this kind of stuff, join the unlimited email membership and email me chaseirons at gmail.com. I'll be able to point you in the right direction for that. So do not ask in the comments. I will delete it. So here we are. We've got our ampule my thing is i want to do this everyday injections okay or i suppose you could do every other day injections if you wanted um, there's not really much of a difference between the two when you are doing sub q injections which i guess that's something that i should mention this is going to be for sub q injections when you're doing sub q injections i want to be injecting the smallest volume of gear possible because i don't want there to be much of a lump at all for any amount of time. So that's very important to me. That's why I prefer daily injections, especially when I'm gonna be doing a TRT dose. Now for me, I'm going to be doing half a milliliter per week. That's 125 milligrams per week. So I'm gonna do half of this vial. Now, most of you know that um, taking one milliliter and dividing it among seven days, that's 0 0.14 milliliters every day. Considering we're not gonna be doing that, we're gonna be doing 0 0.07 milliliters daily. That's a very, very, very small dose. And uh, that is going to be going into these insulin needles. Now, also the, the syringes, the needles, the stuff that I use, you look down in the description box below, you'll see an Amazon link. It's not straight to these, it's to my Amazon storefront where you will find all the health supplements that I use, all the injection tools that I use, and, and a couple other lists of things that I use. Um, you can go in there to find them, click on those through that, and that helps support the channel. Um, but so I'm going to be using these Easy Touch 30 gauge, 5 sixteenths of an inch uh, needle insulin syringes to go about doing this um you know i i don't mind the short needle because again we're doing this sub q we're not trying to get im so the way that we're going to do this i get a lot of questions how how do you handle you know going with an ampule so the deal is is we crack this top off First, a method to help kind of make this a little bit easier. You can take a pen cap and put it on the top there. Just gives you a little bit more leverage to kind of crank on this because um, a lot of the time it's just not long enough to allow you to break it open. Okay, so now we've got the top off and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this 3cc syringe that has a, what is this? This is a 23 gauge, 23 gauge, one and a half inch needle on it. And we're gonna draw all of the oil out of the ampule here. So what you wanna do is tilt that sideways. That way you can put the angle of, I know you can't see that. You can put the angle of the needle that is open on the bottom of the syringe. This is gonna help us get as much of the oil out as possible. And the reason we want to use this 3cc syringe is so that it applies a lot of pressure to the product. I mean, you could buy a separate needle that's like 18 gauge and draw this out a whole lot easier. Um, 
But yeah, I, I mean, this is uh, this is what was attached to the needle. You know, some of you might not think about this, but I, I mean, it is totally doable to do it this way. It is a little bit um, annoying and cumbersome to have to do it this way. But um, as you can see, we are drawing it at a pretty slow but reasonable rate, you know, whatever. Um, so we're drawing this out. And then once it's full, once we get every bit out of it, but there we go, we've got all of the oil now out of the ampule there. And we've got one milliliter sitting in the bottom of this vial or <laughs> of this syringe. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my insulin uh, needle and we're gonna pull the back out of it like that okay now you don't want to set this down on anything dirty um because you know it's uh we don't we don't want to get we don't want to get shit dirty what we do is we're our goal is to inject 0 0.07 into this insulin needle so you gently press down on your plunger and we try to inject about 0 0.7 into here. And it's not gonna be much, guys. I mean, that's below the 10 mark on this thing. This might be a little bit of a tedious process, but you will find that in the end, it does end up being worth it. All right, so once you've got your test in there, you're gonna set this back end on the syringe, or yeah, and then you're gonna flip that over, shake it so that your oil starts running down the side of the syringe, and then from there, you pop your plunger back in there and drive it up to the top, pushing all the air out until your air bubble is gone. And then you will see that you have about 0 0.07 milliliters. I've got the plunger on the 10 there, so that's all the more that it is. And then you inject that sub-Q. Now, as far as sub-Q injections go, I would never, I would never do this around like my belly fat. I would never do that, never, never. Because you don't know if you're going to hit a vein and it's going to bruise, and then you've got a bruise on your gut. Like, that's going to look silly if you ever take your shirt off, right? They're going to be like, what the fuck is that? Do these sub-Q shots. Just, just, you just turn, and you just put it right here, okay? And then you press down the plunger, and it's going to go into your fat, okay? Your butt fat. That's where we're going to put it. It's always going to be hidden. It's always going to be hidden under your underwear or, or something, you know? Especially if you're in the locker room, in the gym, whatever, it's highly unlikely that people are going to see that and you're less likely to bruise or have any sort of complications when you're injecting somewhere back there. This is not going to help with burning fat in that area. So many fucking guys are like, can I help enhance fat burning in my stomach if I inject it into my stomach? No. You're gonna leave a, like, especially if you do like half a mil or a quarter of a mil, like I hear a lot of you guys doing, you try to inject that into your stomach, you're gonna leave a whelp and it's gonna bruise and it's gonna be red and it's gonna be painful and it's just not look, gonna look good. And what good is any of this if you don't look good while you're doing it, you know? So that was one, okay? So that's one day. We're going to do, seven days, which essentially we want half of a milliliter spread out across seven days, okay? These are six syringes. This is my other six days. I'm gonna pull those out. I'm just gonna throw the vac ends in there because uh, I'm a meathead idiot. Um, but from here, now we just start dabbing them in here. Just a little bit at a time. And we can go from one to another. Give it a good hard push. 
They don't have to be perfectly even. Guys, keep that in mind. You know, some might be 0.6, some might be 0.8. The most important thing is that you want half a mil in a week for me. So some days are a little fuller, some days are a little less. Bottom line is they're all between 0.1 and 0.05 milliliters total. So you're gonna be getting a steady dose of gear this way. And then always remember, set the plunger in, flip it upside down, shake the oil away from the needle, and then press your plunger in there into the top so that you don't have any that squirts into your lid. So there we go. We've got a week's worth of shots here, all with about 0 0.07 milliliters of testosterone in them. Now, I don't want to leave my half a mil just sitting in this. I want to go ahead and distribute that among another week's worth. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. That way everything is, you know, distributed for the next couple weeks. And uh, that's it, guys. That's, that's how you do it. You have to do this once every two weeks. You know, if you're doing half a mil um, and using a one mil ampule, you know, if you, if you want to do 250 milligrams per week of your test and you've got the same setup as me, then you would put you would go just over the 10 and you know you try to fill up between the 1 and the 20 uh, but you would want 0 0.14 milliliters every single day okay that's it that's how we go about doing this um you know because i know a lot of you are concerned about the ampules and i see comments all the time where guys are like but I have ampules, like you're supposed to inject the whole ampule, right? I mean, when you get prescribed, that's what they expect you to do with it. <laughs> but we want the most stable hormone levels as possible and we don't want any lumps. And uh, this is the way that we do it. So that's it guys. I'm gonna fill these up and get on with my day. I hope this video was helpful and informative for you. Remember, nobody cares, train harder and I will see you all next time.